I'm born here in this area, out of the city. You live real in, in the mountains. My family is farmers. 10, 11 years old, I work in the farm, I work with my tractors. I mean, I start to drive cars and, and tractors quite early. I love it, driving. My 17 years old, I buy one bike and I start to racing. I feel something inside me uh, I never feel before. Something special and something different. I started racing in 91. I finished good position in the Spanish Enduro Championship, and in 94, I European Championship from Enduro. And in 96, I do my first Dakar. And now, 23 years after, I hear, <laughs> and I won two Dakars, one with bike, one with car, and yeah, a lot of races more, and this is dr dreaming life I have. It's not easy to be a bike pilot, then change to car and uh, win the Dakar again. It's just three people in the history that did it uh, until now. With the motorcycle, you are alone. You follow the route book, you follow the GPS, and you drive. And this has helped a lot my change to the car. When he was riding bikes, it was easier to trade because you can have a bike at home, but now with the car, he doesn't have a car at home. When he trains, it's because uh, he's racing or he's doing test days. And the rest of the year, he's training physical. The Dakar race, we don't know the track before. We don't know how is the weather. We don't know how much soft or hard is the dunes. But everything you know before, it's important to work. In the gym, we try to simulate different actions we have inside the car. Also, we prepare our neck and our back from receive the big impacts. You receive like a boxing, you know, and you need to really prepare your body from this. Oh, this is hard. Oh. Last year, we raced in Bolivia, and in Bolivia, it's around 4,600 meters higher, and we need to also prepare your brain from, from one field this, you know. When you start to feel bad in the altitude, you really lose the concentration. Come on. Oh. 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 We have the accident in June 2006 in Morocco. This is one of the worst moments in my life. Not only the, the professional, also the personal life, you know. The stupid, really stupid accident. I asked my co-pilot if he is okay, and he, he, he broke the, the neck, you know, and this is so hard. So hard from, this is also from his life. I mean, it's an amazing guy. You know, he helped me a lot when I jumped the bikes to the car. The funny guy, the nice guy. And yet we lose Henri, Henri Magny in the in this in this area in Morocco. And I I really sad from him, from his family, you know, it's and you feel really you feel a lot of culpability, you know. I sad, I really sad from from the quality, the human quality of this guy. You know, it's, it's someone really, really amazing. And, and my, my son have two names, Mark and Ri, to me to remember than and Ri. This noise inside the car, the, when you shift uh, the noise, the metallic noise to the gearbox, to the stones to touch from everywhere, this is, uh, this is something amazing, you know? I'm 46 years old, but last year, Carlos signed to win with 55 years old. I have minimum 10 years more in front of me, if I like it, if, if I continue to find, to feel this same passion. fighting and he will miss it the day he stopped uh, racing yet. <laughs> 
when you are at a challenge, a big challenge like Dakar, when you like to fight to win, it's easy to continue. There's always a thinking about the first stage from the next Dakar.